Okay. Welcome to Train Engineering Tutorial on how to pressure test our UN certified tanks. Uh, our tanks are fully approved for 10 years. The test procedure is really simple. Uh, once you've got a test kit from ourselves, um, you get an instruction leaflet telling you exactly step by step information on how to do the test, which I'll go through in a moment. And then on the other side, it tells you how frequent you need to do the tests. First one being 30 months, second one being 60 months. The 30 month test is just a visual inspection, and then the 60 month test will be a full pressure test, which I'm going to go through in a moment. Now our tanks are really simple to test uh, because they are uh, a seamless tank uh, made out of polyethylene, uh, so you've got no corrosion problems, no seams to check, so it's just a case of getting down there and check the fittings uh, coming out of the tank. So, the test procedure, first of all, you have to remove the um, pressure relief valve from the top of the tank. Just a small pair of adjustables. Now, pressure relief valve, I'll show you when we take it out. Just a quick turn there. And that's your pressure relief valve. There's one of those in every job. Now, before you can do a pressure test, obviously, you need to blank the pressure relief off, otherwise it'll just vent. So in your kit, you'll have a quarter inch um, blanking off plug. Just goes back in the fitting there, and then again, just just lock it off. That's it, nice and tight. And then you need the test clock. This is what will come in the fitting. And when you test it, you need to test it to. 2 psi, so that's the red dial in the inside, 2 psi, so it's just one, two, it's just the first two lines. Not the outside, that's the bar, the inside's red psi. So fit it in there. Screw that up and the, the bunk inside expands, that gives you a seal. Tight. <coughs> and then you will need a, a PCL standard airline fitting, obviously connected to a compressor. Connect it on the end. And then you've got a little valve just there, and you, and you just need to put two PSI in the tank. Obviously, shut the valve first, the vent first. <laughs> two PSI and then all you need to do then is check the fittings a little bit of soapy water and a brush this one's been well used and then basically you just need to go around the fittings just checking for any leaks bit of soapy water around there if you find it hard to be able to get underneath to look underneath there just a torch and, and a little mirror um, I'll do that for you. And then you just need to go around all the fittings like that. And again, just the side. There you go. And Shappy, you've got um, some suds all the way around and around that seam there. That fitting, just a bit of soapy water. And that will do it. Get them around there, so you get plenty around the bottom of the tank. 
and it's just a case then of just checking your fittings, make sure you're happy there's no leaks, and that's your pressure test done. You've got plate on the back of the job there. So on your plate, when it leaves the factory, there's a serial number there, there's a date there that makes up your UN certification number, and then your periodic test date stamp. So you just need to stamp what the date, that, that will already have a date on when it was manufactured, and then you'll have another date when you test it next, and then you can just add another plate on when you do more and more tests. And that's about it. So you've tested your tank, you're happy there's no leaks, um, make sure there's no bubbles coming out and around your soapy suds, uh, sure there's any leaks. Uh, once you're happy, all that's done, obviously, let the air out of the tank, just open your valve, let, let, let the air out of the tank. Once all the air's diminished out of the tank, obviously, take your quarter inch uh, blanking off fung out, put pressure leaf valve back in. And that's it. Thank you.